Lucky Yandy here. Box 5 for Zendikar Rising. Leather box. Let's open this box. Very careful using your knives. Pop the seed. Once you pop the seed, there's no way you can go back. Let's see what we can pull from this box. Very important, the Zendikar Rising Expedition box. So put it here. There are quite interesting cards in those expeditions. They are 30. 10 of them are Shetland. There is Cavern of Souls, for example. Very good card. Start with a construct. Cavern of Souls. One of think I think the most expensive one out there. Then obviously with Shotlands. Scalding card. Let's see. Ancient Forest. Ancient Tube. Wasteland. Archie Priest. In the Zendikar Rising, there are full boxes. The best cards are obviously the pathways. The double-faced land cards, the pathways. But also there are the mythic cards. There are quite valuable mythic cards. Little form engine, best mythic card in this set. I'm sure it will hold value that particular card, especially in Commander. Well sculptor. Why the pathways are very important? First of all, they are rare. So probably we can pull a couple of them in this box. And with the rotation of the Ravnica block, we're talking about Wheels of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance. With the rotation, Shocklands are out. First Mythic, Seagate, Restoration, nice card. There is also the land. Shocklands are out, are out from standard meta game. I believe. Apart from the, let's say, band cards in standard, Lotus Cobra, Field of the Dead, Growth Pirate, Wilderness Reclamation, the Fairy Time Reveler, all band obviously in standard, we're talking about band cards, and they, are, they have rotated out. Apart from those band cards, I think the most used cards from that particular block, the Ravnica block, were the shock lands. Now, without the shock lands, everyone will need something to replace those shock lands, those double land cards. And I believe the pathway, the pathways are your answers. Let's continue opening. One mythic for the time being. Nice, Felidar Retreat. Personally, I prefer the original artwork than this one. But still, it's a nice card. Original artwork of Felidar Retreat. I really love that particular art. Really love that particular art. Another mythic card. Morak, Fury of Akko. Can give you multiple attacking phases. Here's our rare card. With a foil. Supplies. Two mythics. No pathways. No pathways at all. Zargraph. We have here a foil. Dread one. Fortunately, you only get one in each draft booster box of those foil showcases. And that's a coming card, it's a pity. Inscription, black inscription. It's a pity, it's only a, uh, a common. Could have been a showcase planeswalker or borderless planeswalker. Shutter Skull Charger. Sometimes effects packs they are quite difficult to open. Nibble. Here we have Zerazol, Verazol. There are two particular face workers in this set Nahiri, Falakut Awakening, Nahiri, 
Christmas Jays. And Nissa. I think this is the most expensive one. It's the most expensive one, isn't it? Sir? Let's see if we can pull Anissa. I think I already pulled Jace and Nahiri. But no Nissa. A pathway, finally a pathway. Put it there. Let's see if we can pull our Nissa. Maybe a borderless Nissa. Another pathway. I like the art of this card. Really, I like that art. That's quite a nice relic. And here we have also we have a for another four showcase. Watch this card. I think this card in commander can be very strong and therefore the price can go up the price. Commander is one of the formats people like to play. I like to play commander. I have a commander there. I like to play commander. It's one of those formats that you can be quite, let's say, another, finally, another mythic, Tazri. I was saying that Commander is one of those decks, those formats that you can play more decks, more colors, Tajur, and you can play any type of synergy, depending on your Commander feature. Personally, I prefer Commander than Bro. Zaret. Where is Zaret? I prefer Commander than Bro. Bro is more for Arena than, than Magic cards. Another mode. Few packs left. Only three Mythics. We still have our Expedition to open. We still have our Expedition to open. There's our rare card, not one of the best rare cards. Skewed worm, swarm. We have a foil, a foil, full art. Land, very oh, nice. Then the card is synonymous with land and full art land, so. We have lands in this particular set. Crawling Burns. A foil is enchant. No Eldrazis in the Midar Rising. Eldrazis are defeated. Master of Wind. Master of Winds. Last few packs remaining. Last few packs remaining. Legion, Engine. We have a foil. It's a foil rare. Skills were Very nice. Last few packs remaining. Sharex. And the foil. As I said, sometimes these packs they, they are quite hard to open. Let's see if we can pull up the cards from there. There is a nice mythic card. This is a nice mythic card. Scourge of the Sky Glade. Let's open our box stopper. We have two packs left, but we're going to open the box stopper. You can leave me a comment below. Try to guess what you will find in this particular box stopper. Careful opening the pack. It's a fetch land. It's a cavern of souls. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, it is a fetch land. It is virgin catacombs. Circle library for a and the first and that's a nice fetch land. One of the best one out there. Scalding time is going for it. I think are the best virgin catacombs. I think it's the third one. Third best. That was a very nice pull. Shadows Verdict. Very nice pull. Have you guessed? Was it fetch land? Yes, it was. Last pack. I missed the rare card. Description of inside. This was the last rare card. I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, 
this one is the best pull out of this box Verdant Catacomb yes it's a fetch land it is one of the best here's the subscription button subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about magic digging and the collectible world